never happy. <laughs> you guys have been pestering me for two years now. <laughs> it's been two years, right? <laughs> you guys have constantly been pestering me for two years. Now I'm yet to address this situation because I guess I had this small fragment of hope that potentially this whole situation would consign itself to oblivion. It's been two honest years. But, uh, yeah, ever since what happened, I forgot how that sounded. Break that seal. Whew, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of emotional. <laughs> Just kidding. I gained like 10 pounds of fat instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, I can see why I use that for sure. Freaking heck, man. I fell asleep last night and uh, I didn't shower. Because I have some pussy boy skin. My skin is like super sensitive, so I gotta shower and wash my face and I sweat a lot. So even just my body in general, if I don't like bathe or shower, I freaking break out. The hair is coming in too, man. Look at this. All right, anyways, I'm going out in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna hang out with my buddy John. I think we're gonna get something to eat. I'm hungry. John, John's a funny dude, man. I like hanging out with him. And he's intellectual as well, so we can have a good conversation with him. <laughs> we we talked about anabolics that entire time we talked about steroids oh dude my life is whew, right now it is crazy man that's all i can say i'm just balancing a copious amount of things right now i am so addicted to making videos right now like literally nothing gives me that fulfillment nothing gives me gives my soul that fire that fulfillment like making videos man to man right here if you don't have something like that in your life dude you're doing you're doing it wrong you are doing something wrong <sighs> i'm helping my family move i'm uh working full time right now as for the move i'll, I'll tell you guys next video where we're moving it's actually kind of sick you guys are gonna think it's cool and the videos i love i told you i love making videos but it's just it's quite the process not only the creative process but um editing uploading filming it's a lot. I do it all myself. Holy frick. Holy frick. The thing is, is I'm just sort of run down as of recently. Yeah. It's just quite tired. So yeah, I mean, this is the real talk. In order to aim to be as transparent as possible, you guys kind of got to know what's going on with me. And I like the grind. I love it. I love my work ethic as of right now, but I've got to figure it out because... I can't sustain this right now with my mental state. A lot of that can be, I'm just bombarded because it's uh, probably just quite the shock to my mental. I haven't uh, been this, I wish I could say this, but I don't think I've worked this hard in a while. But if my mind quits, the rest will follow. So I just gotta ground myself. And uh, it helps, it helps a lot that you guys watch the videos and you're showing me support. That's like tremendous help, like truthfully. With that being said, I'm gonna hit a lighthearted workout with some friends tonight.
weight room, not fun ass. Stay serious. <laughs> I'm gonna make you a star, but you gotta trust me. I thought I smelled a rat. Hey, <laughs> whole other piece. What else was in it? <laughs> How many okay. grams of sugar? One actually. This is disgusting, but. <laughs> Calories? 200. On a side note, you know why I like hanging out with you? Because <laughs> I'm an asshole. That and because I can fart and you can't smell it. Sure. <laughs> He's no blind. Smelling is overrated. <laughs> Not to make you uncomfortable, but I did just <laughs> People always used to tell me that as if it was gonna like bother me. And I think they realized after a while that I really couldn't care less. What, farting? Yeah. If I can't smell it, why would I care if <laughs> you do it? you ever tell them if you can't smell it? <laughs> wait, wait. Cut it in there. What did you want, what you said? So the reason I hang out with you is because even when I sit down and you're standing, I'm barely shorter than you are. <laughs> now, you know what would be funny is us talking about redoing it and then redoing it <laughs> so you look cooler. <laughs> God, you suck. You know why I like hanging out with you? Um, I don't. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> because I can fart and you can't smell it. That's true, I can't smell anything. Because <laughs> yeah, he's nose blind, by the way, guys. I don't need to smell, it's overrated. You know why I like hanging out with you? Yeah, why is that? Brace yourselves. Because <laughs> I'm sitting down and you're standing up and you're barely taller than I am. <laughs> combination of birds, crickets, and snakes. This is a shotgun mic, so it should literally only catch A shotgun! Shut up. Shut up. You know what I see when I look at you? What? Big old money sign. <laughs> Piece of cash. <laughs> wow, thanks. Okay. I don't know if I should take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta introduce you. This is Alec. So, yeah. we've up? been friends. I moved here when I was 11, I think. Yeah, something and like that. I was 10. You were 10. We weren't really friends at first, though. We no. We didn't know each other. I we started we hanging out when I was like 13. Yeah, I was 12. Yeah. <laughs> we're like 10 months apart. Yeah, so we've been friends for, we haven't known you for like eight years. Eight years. Real good. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a segment where I wanted to cover Alex's weight loss. How many, how many pounds he lost? Well, as of right now, 69 pounds. <laughs> the man 69. has lost 69, not 70, but 69 not pounds. Not 68. He has done a cool thing. And uh, it kind of fits in with the uh, niche of my channel. So I told Dylan I think he needs to teach people how to lose weight after they gain it. Yeah, and that's something that I'm not necessarily like, I guess, good at. Yeah, <laughs> I've been skinny my whole life. So. so this is the first question I have for you is like, it's pretty general. How did you do it? Like, what did an average day look like for you in terms of weight loss? You know, my average day before I started losing weight wasn't really that bad. It wasn't something you would think would cause somebody to need to lose 69 pounds. I was eating generally healthy, I thought I was. I would have a lot of beef, a lot of chicken, have protein powder, protein shakes, protein bars. I thought that working out and eating somewhat healthy would help me lose weight. <laughs> yeah. And because uh, you mentioned you were, he mentioned to me earlier that you were literally pursuing like fit, like you were trying to get fit. Right. Yeah. What ended up happening was after COVID happened, I couldn't go to the gym for a while. I was home up until March of 2021. I was going to the gym. I was eating pretty healthy, and I gained 30 pounds. March 2021, I went into the doctor's office. Um, I was at home. And I just had to do a physical checkup and I weighed in at 278 pounds. About a week later, I called up my stepdad who has been lifting for a hundred years. And uh, I basically told him, I was like, okay, hey, it's time. He's been telling me for a while, you know, he'd be willing to help me kind of figure out how to lose weight. But he basically was like, you know, I'll help you. We're going to write you up a whole regimen of what you're going to be eating. 
because the reality is losing weight doesn't really come down to what you're doing in the gym. It comes down to going to the gym and your diet. Yeah, so in terms of manipulating how you physically look right. like I mean, yeah, eating healthy is going to help you, you know, be in, in general shape. And so I started getting on a meal plan, um, basically meal prepping. I would cook all of the chicken, all of the rice, all of the potatoes that I would eat for the week and divide it up into my meals, weigh it out into grams. And basically I ate the same exact thing every single day, six meals a day, protein shakes, chicken, rice, potatoes, weighed out at precise measurements. So you you ate the same thing, a cookie cutter diet for a span of like four months? Four months, and 20 weeks. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm common. still doing it. A lot of people can't really fathom that because they get sick of food so fast, even yeah. myself. I can't stay on track. I couldn't eat the same thing for more than two or three days in a row. It was terrible, yeah. But I also started on that day doing cardio every single day. Six days a week, I would go onto the treadmill and only five days a week, I would go to the, I would, I would also lift as well. And doing so, you're burning so many calories that as long as you're not eating that many calories and you're burning a bunch of calories, at the end of the day, you're gonna lose weight. Every single week, I lost at least three pounds for 12 weeks straight. Yeah, that's that's a crazy thing is this was 120 days, four months, and you lost nearly 70 pounds. So yeah. roughly speaking, you lost like a pound every two days, yep. a little more. Right. Yeah, I lost <laughs> over, I mean, I, I lost, insane. I'm currently at about 9% body fat. What? This is a question I wanted to ask you is from like the diet standpoint. Yeah. Why, why so strict? Like, why were you so uncompromising in what you were eating. So for me, you know, I'm somewhat of a picky eater anyway, so it wasn't that hard for me to be really consistent with just eating the same thing over and over. I also cook my chicken differently every couple weeks. You know, there's a billion ways to cook chicken, so that's the nice thing is it's very versatile. It's very possible to lose weight without having to just eat the same thing every single day. If I wanted to get the best results fast, I had to do what I was being told. This is interesting. How many times did you cheat on your uh, diet? I have one one cheat meal and it was a predetermined my step that said, you know, after eight weeks, I want you to have basically a refeed meal. What happens is, you know, your body gets really used to what's going on. You can kind of shock it by like throwing some calories yeah. at it um, after that at <laughs> the all. The man had one cheat day in the span of four months. Yeah. The turning point when you have that like look in the mirror moment and you're like, man, this is kind of yeah. what I've become. And like, you're contemplating reversing it. What did that look like for you? Like when were you like, holy crap, this right. is gone far. Yeah, I mean, honestly, my whole life, like, you know, when you were growing up and stuff, Dylan was always a smaller guy, as I'm sure everybody knows. Um, <laughs> like, most kids growing up were skinny, and their problem was everyone yeah. was skinny. And for me, I've kind of, like, hated the way I looked and hated the way I felt about my body my whole life. And it's been really hard to not have, like, body dysmorphia, right? The mental idea that your body sucks. This is controversial, but do you think, like, that mentality of kind of, like, I hate the way I look, like, this, like... Do you think that's healthy or do you think? You know, I think there's a certain point where it's healthy and a certain point where it's not. And I think for years, I kind of was at this point where I was in this range of just being unhappy, but not past the point where I was so unhappy that I was actually willing to go and do something about it. Everybody feels differently about where they feel content with themselves and where they don't. You know, some people are heavy and they don't mind being heavy and they like it that way. Some people are skinny and they prefer to be that way. You know, some people might watch your channel and be like, I, I prefer to be the way he was before he started lifting. There's tons you know? of people coming. Yeah, I mean, you were skinny, but you were literally in shape. You know, you were yeah. shredded. Growing up, you know, uh, my dad and I were never close and I haven't, I haven't spoken to him in years, but he was always a bigger guy. And when my parents split when I was, you know, first hit high school, he got really big. He he gained seventy pounds in a year. Your dad? Yeah. And know. and he and seeing him like kind of just give up on his physical health, you know, a few years later and there I am at two hundred and eighty pounds. And for me it was just crushing. <laughs> you became yeah. the very thing you despised. And not only did I weigh two hundred and eighty pounds, but I thought that I weighed two hundred and forty pounds. But to some extent it was similar for you from what we talked about where you were just kinda of hit a point where it was just like, Okay, I'm done being like this. There's definitely you know? a sense of like insecurity and lack of confidence. You're not comfortable right. in your own body and it's yeah. tough. I feel like sometimes it's possible to be somebody physically in your own head, but not actually reflect that. You know what I mean? To say to yourself, like, I am a 220 pound shredded guy at 6'2", while weighing 300 pounds. You know, <laughs> it's like you are not yourself. Your mind creates an illusion of what you are and what right. you believe you are, you are. And I feel like I've always been this person that I'm finally able to like show that I am. 
You know what I mean? I guess that's what we wanted to touch on is Alec has accomplished a pretty crazy feat here. And not only physical, but as we've just kind of delved into, it's a lot more than that. And whenever you make a huge physical change, it's going to be a lot more than just beyond the surface. It right. transcends your mental state. It transcends how you see yourself, and that will reflect how you act around other people. Other people perceive that when you walk into a room. Right. Your physical appearance is the first thing that speaks. Yeah. Like, if you're muscular, and people know that there's hard work behind that and that you've done something Yeah. to achieve that. So, yeah, this I mean, is great. And do you have any, like, final advice to people who are struggling to lose weight or aspire to lose weight? Yeah, I mean, honestly, the number one thing I would say is I, I really tried throughout this whole process to kind of keep it about myself. And I feel like what a lot of times is hard for people is that they publicize a lot of what they're doing. You know, yeah. it's like they're telling all their friends, like, dude, I'm going to lose weight. So I just kind of kept to myself and hunkered down and just kind of put my head down and worked. Right. My stepdad actually told me the other day that he didn't think I would make it past four weeks. Into into my diet thing. yeah he thought that i would probably lose 10 15 oh. pounds and that the diet would be too hard and it would be too difficult yeah i mean I'll, I'll be frank with you like i've known you for a lot of my life and like if i were to have known you were trying to embark on something like that i probably would have like nobody thought, would think you could do it i love that i love the thing he's saying about speaking before you act because we've all done that and right. like you've all sometimes failed what you were set out to do and you now you've told everyone tell me this in literally one sentence, why, what was the reason you did it? I just couldn't live with myself being that big. How oh, did you find a way to run from the city of the sun? You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done. I never knew you was a runner. What'd you say? Say it again. I said chicken legs. What I, <laughs> what I said though is your legs. They're not this tiny, big, but they're, they're not tiny. that small. They're not that. They're not that small. You don't know how much that means to me. My voice gets shit. like shaky. He's like crying. <laughs>